I never knew that I was going to wake up this morning at 4 o'clock in the morning and never see him again. An uneasy feeling sweeping a small community as they cope with the sadness of losing a friend and neighbor. Police say a man was shot during a home invasion and the killer is on the run. Let's get right out to TV5's James Felton with what we know at this hour. James? Just a little after 5 o'clock, we saw two Beaverton police officers going through three large dumpsters. They spent about 45 minutes going through those dumpsters. I watched as they did that, and they didn't appear to find anything. I did ask one of the officers what they were looking for, and they would not tell me. Now, earlier today, I did speak with a neighbor of the victim who was trying to come to grips with what happened earlier today trying. She lost a good friend. Paul Hine, emotional about the sudden loss of his next door neighbor. <sighs> Just hard to take it right now, man. <sighs> Police say a man was shot and killed in his Beaverton home on Brown Street around 4.30 this morning. Hine says he had known the victim for seven years. We met right after I moved in here. He got with my neighbor and they've been together since. Hine tells us his friend was a fixture in his life. He shared what he will miss most about him. Him not coming around every 20 minutes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Beaverton Police Chief Brad Davis tells us the investigation into this incident continues. There's not a risk that we know of um, to the public at this time, and it is not a mass shooting mass casualty event like was posted on Facebook. Can you tell us why there isn't a, why at this time you don't believe there is a risk to the public? Uh, we believe this is just one isolated incident. Was there a woman who was assaulted in the same location? I have no other comments at this time. Like I said, it's still an ongoing investigation. Davis says no arrests have been made yet. As for Hine, he's still trying to comprehend what happened here. Oh, it's so hard to take in. Talk about way too close to home. <laughs> And Beaverton police have not released any more updates. When they do, we'll be sure to let you know. Reporting live and local in Gladwin County, James Felton, WNEM, TV5. James, thank you. Others in the neighborhood are expressing shock and devastation. One woman said it felt like her heart stopped when she learned what had happened. She describes the man killed as everyone's best friend and says he was basically part of her family. He was like my kid's grandpa's basically, um, took our kids fishing, um, a good guy. He, he had a wife or a fiance. Um, he had grandkids, he had daughters um, that he loved. Um, he was building a bus. They were getting ready to go live in the bus in like three weeks and, and travel. And again, we continue to follow the latest developments and we will update you here and online as they come in.